Andy Lennox has four Grammy Awards, an Academy Award, a Golden Globe, and an OBE, Order of the British Empire, in recognition of her humanitarian work to her credit. As one half of Eurythmics and as a solo artist, she sold more than 83 million records worldwide, a testament from the public to her brilliant artistry. Her latest CD is called A Spell on You. Can I just say, I am so glad you did this project. Oh, thanks. I am Thank so you. glad, Annie, that you did this because your voice lends its... Right. And that would be interesting. Uh -huh. And Herbie and I, you see, we were doing a version of uh, Every Time We Say Goodbye mm. by, by Cole Porter, mm. which I had recorded. ...match to being turned on by the lyrical content, oh. since you mentioned the composers. Absolutely. Yeah. You see, here's the thing. I'm glad you said that. I was just about to ask you, and you've already answered, so you're... you're pressing it. <laughs> I was about to ask you what for you makes a good song. I'm always fascinated uh, by artists uh, as to, to, their, to their opinion as to what really makes yeah. a good song. I think you just answered it. I think I, I probably just did. Yeah. Records, because you were busy doing your, not just your work, but your witness, as I would call it, your witness uh, as an ambassador, uh, talking about issues that really matter in the world. How does one make a decision, or was it really not a decision, it just happened that you step away from the music? step away from the work to engage mm. your witness. I think it's a process, you mm. know, for me. I mean, When you had, I, I feel the power um, of your passion um, that you were brought into by this experience. But when, when, you, when, you, when you have this experience, Annie, how does that impact and then influence your artistry? Because once you get out there and start engaging, I, I love the choices that you made um, for this project. Um, some great choices, but there are a couple of them that really stood out for me, and I could not wait to get you in this seat to ask you why you chose a couple of tracks on here. And the first is uh, Strange Fruit. Oh, we've it's gone here. And I, I thought I loved Billie Holiday, and I even thought I knew Billie Holiday until I saw Audra play her on stage uh, on Broadway. And it was just, a, well, I'm, I'm still wrestling with, still marinating on what I saw I see. in her performance. So it's just a powerful, powerful thing. What is it about this? Is, it may sound strange, but what is it about the human voice that yeah. turns you on? Does that make sense? Yes, it totally makes sense. And it's hard to wonderful organizations, we call them non-governmental organizations, NGOs, mm -hmm. and they are my champions. I absolutely honor the men and women, the young men and women very often, mm -hmm. that go. Christian, somebody once told me that I love God, just save me from the Christians. And I, and I totally understand that point, which is the point you've just made, that so many of us who profess, we get, we get tricked sometimes. But Thomas, the labels are just so interesting, aren't they? Because mm -hmm. they, come, they can become very uh, reductive. Mm -hmm. And actually, 